Peter means rock. First and foremost, all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit. That were understood the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to you, sincere and humble brethren, faithfully and diligently preaching this word with fear and trembling. And shalom to the believers that subscribe to this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Peter means rock. And even the so called Christian scholars know this. All right. Peter means rock because Peter is the rock. All right. And Peter was surnamed. Uh, by Yahweh Shai, right? Because his name is actually Simon. But the Lord surnamed Peter according to the Spirit, all right? <clears throat> Thus, Peter mean rock, all right? It says, meaning of rock in the original Greek word translated as Peter is Petros. And that translated as rock, Petra. Two words that, while not identical, give an impression of one of many times when Yahweh Shai used a play on words, which it says Jesus, whom the world anyway calls Jesus. True name is Yahweh Shai in the holy tongue, Lashawan Kodash, all right, <clears throat> which is the Hebrew tongue. <clears throat> so here it says, why was Peter called a rock? Now check this out. You're going to see that even... These Christian scholars have more uh, understanding than some of these IUIC and other Israelite camps. All right. <clears throat> the rock upon which Yahweh Shah was build, Salakia, would build his church will refer to Peter. Since Yahweh Shah changed Peter's name to Petros, meaning rock. This would make Peter the foundation of the church. All right. This would make Peter the foundation of the church. Immediately after Peter declared Yahweh Shah to be the Messiah, he rebuked Yahweh Shah for saying he would be killed, which that's neither here nor there. The point being, all right, Yahweh Shah changed Peter's name, meaning rock. This would make Peter the foundation of the church. Okay? So Peter means rock. So of course he is the rock. Peter uh, is the head of the nation of Israel under Yahweh Shai. It's the book of John, chapter 1, verses 40 through 42. <clears throat> One of the two which heard John speak, meaning John the Baptist, and follow him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first founded his own brother Simon and said unto him, We have found Hamashiach, the Messiah, which being interpreted Hamashiach, or as they say today, the Christ. <clears throat> Verse 42, And he brought him to Yahweh Shah, who did he bring to Yahweh Shah? Simon. And when Yahweh Shah beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. Thou shalt be called Cephas, <coughs> Salaki, which is by interpretation a stone. NLT. Then Andrew brought Simon to meet Yahweh Shah. Looking intently at Simon, Yahweh Shah said, Your name is Simon, son of John. But you will be called Cephas, which means Peter. And what does Peter mean? Rock. <clears throat> what does Peter mean? Strong's G, 4074. Petras. Petras. Outline of biblical usage one, Peter equals a rock or stone. <clears throat> Strong's definition as a name, Petrus, an apostle, Peter, rock. All right. And who gave Peter his name? 
John 1, 42 again. Then Andrew brought Simon to meet Yahweh Shai. Looking intently at Simon, Yahweh Shai said, Your name is Simon, son of John, but you will be called Cephas, which means Peter. All right. It says, which in interpretation, a stone. So, of course, Peter is the rock. That's why Yahweh Shai gave him that name. Lord will, you will edify all praises under the glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Wabachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachachach